and ignore it. So I just started crying. I let myself feel it, you know, when I got a lot of mean things and a lot of hate, like I would let myself feel it and I would let myself cry. And after that release of those emotions and that energy, that's when I was able to be like, whew, okay, I do feel better. Like, I know who I am. My loved ones know who I am. You know, I was able to go through those steps and those processes. And I think that's super important as humans. Like, we need to not just be shutting off our emotions and closing ourselves up. Because what happens is that ends up boiling up in us that we keep putting, because it doesn't just disappear. What our emotions do when we try to hide them is they just keep going down deeper and deeper. That's what we're doing. We're, we're suppressing them. And it ends up going and it sits inside of us where it ends up other things that we pushed away from childhood, that things that just happened last week at work, we, you know, we just push down there. And what ends up happening is it ends up releasing in other ways. Either people start drinking too much or partying too much or turn really angry or depressed or any, you know, it shows up in different ways. So I didn't want to do that. So I let myself feel it. I definitely let myself feel it. Um, oh, any, any books to get started with natural healing. So funny with me is I actually struggle with reading for self learning. Um, I love to read, love, love, love to read, but I love to read for just fun. Like I read old romance novels that are actually really probably super sexist and shit, whatever, but that's my happy place are these, um, old time novels so I just started following different herbalists on like Instagram Facebook and I will I'll read more like I can read smaller articles and blogs regarding um, natural healing but when it comes to like a book I haven't bought a book because I just I can't learn like that I, I'm not a good self learner when it comes to things like that I can start self learning after I've been introduced and I've had a little instruction and I feel good and confident then I can run but to start off like I'm really really rough Oh, so someone who says they're lactose intolerant, baby girl, I'm grateful, um, or baby, I'm grateful. That's their Instagram. Um, so lactose intolerant, and they are struggling with it. Um, the best things that that I have found has been like a vegan cheese from Trader Joe's. So 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 good, so good. And then the sour cream from Tofuti or something like that has really helped. And then just butter. I mean, other than that, there's not too much else really had to cut out, you know? Um, I feel like the cheese is definitely a little, you know, I get a bag of shredded cheese for probably $4.99 where a bag of regular dairy cheese is shredded cheese is like $2.99, $2.50. So it's a little bit more pricey, but it's definitely worth it body wise. And it does suck. It does suck that natural foods or not natural, but like foods that people need for their different dietary things have to be so expensive. Hello everyone, thanks for joining in, just chilling. Um, about to make this salsa, just wanted to ask some questions as we go. Or answer some questions as we go. <laughs> Sinjin has definitely, they're actually boys boxers that I'm wearing chart. I love wearing boys boxers to bed. <laughs> what is he asking about wearing underwear? Oh, I guess they could see my shorts when I went to rinse out the tomatillos and they're like I can see if Sinjin rocking those is chart. Oh. <laughs> I think it's you about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ty, I've tried to block that person multiple times and they just keep creating different accounts. So it's hard to <laughs> block them. Oh, but let's see. Fuck the song, black, let's go big. They always want to message me. Say, hey, let's see if they'll go live. Bet they're just another keyboard warrior who won't go live with me. We are self isolating. We're home. Oh, hey, fuck oh. you, decline the live. Oh, are you a little bit scared? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit scared. 
<laughs> yeah, do stay, do stay in touch with some of the other couples. Um, Michael and Juliana happen to live in Connecticut, so we hang out with them sometimes. Um, I, you know, and just definitely liking and messaging sometimes. Uh, reach out to the other couples. Just spoke to them this morning, actually. Oh. So Michael and Juliana. I'm not sure where Asta, Asterum is. Someone just asked if we celebrate that. I'm not sure what that is. Hello, Belgium. Mm-hmm. All right. I got to keep getting going with this. Oh, wait. What, baby? So anyone else have any other questions? Or let's just talk. Like, fuck questions. Who wants to go live and just talk? Not ask any questions. Let's just talk. Who wants to go live? Go ahead and request to go live. I think I can see it if you request, right? Oh, so Dr. Sebi, yes, has a lot of great information. Um, I do follow a lot of his stuff, but he also is very problematic. But who isn't? Um <laughs> So I take things what he says with, I appreciate his uh, wisdom when it comes to natural healing, um, but some of it is definitely very sexist. And so. um, Oh, someone requested to go live. Sunflower. Oh, joining live with someone. If it, I don't know if it's my, it might be my Wi-Fi, but we're there. Is it my live or your live? Are they feed? Did anyone else see? Anyone else see anyone join? Oh. Sorry, I tried to join you. Trying to join people. I don't know. It says waiting for them. So let's see. People who've asked to go live. I'm not here to answer questions either. Let's just talk. Let's say hi. Tell me your favorite book or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me get off my wife. That's one clue of anything to anything. Oh, my life is letting people join. What's going on? No, someone else said it. Mine is working. It's their phone shut down. Um, all right, let's see someone else. <laughs> let's try again. Oh, and happy birthday, Nushka. Nushka, if you're watching, I just saw you. I don't want it to be too far like long. Again, okay, back connection. My Wi Fi is off, and I have AT&T, and I've never I've had them for like 15 years now, never had issues. So let's try again. Let's try again with Sunflower. Yeah, happy birthday. Oh, hey. Hey, finally it works. <laughs> Yes, what's going on? Oh, not too much. How are you? Good, good. Where are you calling in from? Canada. 
Oh, hello. Hello. Are you are you on the east side or west side? <laughs> I'm in um more the east side. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool, cool. Where, where it's freezing cold here. I see you're in a tank <laughs> top. I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely cold outside. I'm spending a little bit of too much money on heat because I can't stand to be cold, but <laughs> I yeah, got this. Sure. I got the windows open, pretending it's summertime. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just looking outside right now, and we have an ice rink in our backyard, and oh my gosh, tons of snow here. Oh my gosh, no! Thank goodness, we had a pretty we had a pretty um, warm winter here, which is good for me. Kind of sad for Sinjin because he didn't really get to experience like a New England winter. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cold was horrible. But it wasn't even that cold. He dealt, you dealt better with the cold than I did. I don't know. So, so where yeah. is he? He's from, he's from Africa, right? Yeah, he's from South Africa. South Africa, yes. Okay. Yeah. My dad was born in Ghana in, okay. in Africa. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so he always tells me stories about like when he was growing up and stuff and all the animals and yeah. yeah. Have you, did you ever get to go there or no? No, no. Yeah. No, no he was just he was just there because <clears throat> my grandpa was a like a like a world chef, so he would travel the world. Oh wow. Yeah, so my dad got to visit like a lot of different places. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. A world chef and got to travel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, good food and travel that's all a person needs and then it'll be Ex perfect exactly yeah my yeah. sister is actually super super good with food i yeah. man i wish she would have but she loves it as a hobby not as a job i get it you know yeah. i want her to cook for me all the time cause she's so good yeah <clears throat> awesome <laughs> so are you guys in like um isolation there too or uh, yeah, pretty much. Like we, like he did laundry. He only left the house the other day to do laundry. We just did a couple more groceries, but yeah. other than that, we have plenty of groceries not to leave the house, have some games. We hit the package stores, which are our liquor stores. I don't know what you, what, what you call them there, but we hit the oh. liquor store. We've got a couple bottles <laughs> in case they shut everything down and we're stuck in the house for 30 days. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what, what we've been doing too. Yeah. Just loading up on groceries and how many people do you got there in your house uh i've got a seven-year-old son and my husband's here mm. yeah. Aww. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh is that your clock or is that your phone <laughs> that's my clock okay it's funny because i never hear it and when somebody comes over they're like oh somebody's at the door i'm like what no. <laughs> drown it out <laughs> so i have a question Yes. So are you in contact with everybody from the show? Or do you guys kind of uh, go your separate ways? Or Yeah, I mean, some of us have formed um, friendships. And um, I feel like definitely, definitely talk or message each other here and there. Some of us, uh, like, we're closer to some couples than others. But um, yeah, who are you closest with? I don't talk to at all. So it's all over the board. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Who is your favorite couple from the season? You guys. Oh, you don't have to say that because you're here with me. You can be no, on. I, no, it is you guys, for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I love the show. Are you watching the, the new season of it? Oh, my gosh, no. I haven't even watched our full season. I haven't even seen our wedding or the tell-all. Or... Really? Yeah. You just don't want to see it? It's weird. It's very, very weird. Yeah. Very weird. To see yourself on TV and living your life yeah would you do it again <laughs> would you go on the show again um i think yes, i have to no. see how like, everything like keeps playing out before i can do for that like um i was just now like i would have i would never do it again yeah as it stands now but if then maybe more good things come from it then I'd yeah be like, you know what maybe it's worth it yeah for sure yeah. Do you get like a lot of um like a lot of hate from people? Like do you get like haters and stuff like that just because you're on the show? You're so cute. I was like the most hated this season. <laughs> what? I got so really 
I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hate, so it was hard. <laughs> 